In this video, I'm showing you how to use the slow motion effect in CapCut and just how to do slow motion as well. So if you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's jump straight into this guide. The first thing you need to do is of course, open up CapCut. Then we can either do this with a new project or you can go and open up an existing project and do it. In this case, I'm gonna go and create a new project. And then you need to go and add the videos you'd like to the project and now we can get into this. So here's the video I've gone and added. It's literally just me panning over my YouTube plaque. So the first thing you need to do is decide which part of the video which you want to be put in slow-mo. So in this case, I want the, um, the part to be in slow-mo where I'm showing the plaque. So it probably starts about here, then ends when I go past the plaque. So therefore, what we're gonna go and do is make a split. So what you want to do is firstly tap on the video like that, so it's selected and it's got the white marks around it. And then what you want to do is decide where you want the slow-mo to begin. So I want it to begin just here. Then I'm gonna go and tap on split in that bottom toolbar. We've got on the bottom left, you've got split. So tap split just like so, just like that. And then what you want to do is go and decide where you want the slow-mo to stop. So I want it to stop about here or maybe a bit further on about here So then I'm gonna make another split just like so and then this middle video here Is the one I want to go and make slow when I'm actually panning over the plaque So then make sure you've got the clip selected which you want to be in slow-mo selected just like I've got now And then you need to go and tap on speed just like so now You can go and click on curve and use like a default curve But I recommend just tapping on normal and then what you want to do is drag the slider left as at the minute it's 1x, which just means normal, but you want it to be slower. So of course you want it to be less than one. So then you're gonna drag it just like so. And then as you drag it, it's gonna go and show you the new duration. As you can see, originally it was 1.8 seconds. Now it's 2.3, but I might make it a bit slower. Just for this example, I'll make it, you know, um, 0.5 just to keep it easy. Then I'm gonna go and tap on the tick mark and you can also choose if you want to make it better quality, faster process or smoother. I'll keep on smoother. Then go and tap on the tick button just like so and it's gonna go and apply the effect. Now let's go and watch it back so as you can see it's gonna be fast. Then it goes really slow as I pan over the plaque and then it's gonna go and speed up again just like so. And I can make it even slower to make it more dramatic. So I could go and put it on 0.1 for example, just like that. And then as you can see, it's then gonna suddenly hit slow-mo and then um, it's gonna go and pan over it just like that. And then once you're finished and you want to go and save it to your camera roll, all you need to do is go and press on the export button in the top right, just like so. And as you can see, it's now exporting it. And then I, it'll be in your camera roll and you can go and share it with your friends and whoever you want to. If you found this guide useful, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Peace.